the welfare program, you know, in Maine, Paul LePage, uh, crazy Paul, Paul LePage, the right-wing Republican governor, has, uh, you know, tried drug testing welfare recipients and uh, floated the idea of drug testing people on unemployment, all sorts of weird things. I mean, it's just, he's, like, he's like a Fox News uh, head, a talking head almost. I, yeah, it's just, I, and, and he's got a weird obsession with Vaseline. But in any case, uh, the, the state of Maine decided, hey, you know, we need, we need business in Maine. So let's give corporations some free money, and they'll bring their business here, right? All over, all over the country. This is another, you know, brilliant idea that came out of the Reagan era. Uh, you know, uh, the uh, Chicago school boys, Milton Friedman and company, saying, "Well, if you want a business to come to your community, what you really need to do is give them a twenty million dollar tax break, and they will show up, or thirty, or forty million dollars, and they'll show up, and they'll come to your community, and they'll keep the jobs there, and everything will be wonderful." Just give the money to the corporations. They know what to do with it. In point of fact, if you look at where corporations are, are relocating themselves around this country right now, generally speaking, now there are some low-wage companies that are relocating into low-wage areas, but, you know, who, who are choosing Mexico rather, or excuse me, Texas rather than Mexico. But setting that aside, most companies, you know, the biggest consideration is, are there good schools around here so that I can get good employees. Are there, is, there good, is there good infrastructure? Is there a public transit system so I can get good employees? And if it's a retail business, so my customers can get to me. So really, if you're, a, if you're the governor of a state, if you're Paul LePage and you want your state to grow, revive your infrastructure. Put in high speed rail. Help put in high speed rail from from uh, from Boston to Portland, Maine. For example, you want to see things really pop. Start putting high speed internet in cities all over the all over the state. But instead, they said, "Oh, well, we'll give money to the corporations, and that will work." And as this article, uh, yeah, and the centralmaine.com, I think this is the uh, the Bangor Daily News. Actually, I think this is their website. It's by Whit Richardson and Kevin Miller. Oh, it's with the Portland Press Herald. My apologies. The Portland Press Herald. They write, the program, this program to give money to corporations to bring their businesses to Maine, the program was tapped by Kate Street Capital, a New Hampshire private equity firm, oh, geez, a Mitt Romney company, type of company, to direct $40 million to Great Northern Paper, a foundering paper mill that Kate Street Capital owned in East Millinocket, Maine. But of the so they already own a a paper mill in Maine and it is floundering it's foundering it's falling apart. But of the forty million dollars, thirty two million took the form of one day loans. Seven million was used to pay down high interest debt, and the rest went to brokers' fees. None of the money was used to modernize the mill as described in the initial application of the program. Yet taxpayers will pay sixteen million dollars to the to the investors. And to add insult to injury, the mill closed and filed for bankruptcy last year. Keeping Mainers forty million bucks. Well, not the mill. The 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 executives and the stockholders. The you know the the ownership class, the the billionaire class. It they kept the forty million dollars. You and me? No, no. And well, if you live in Maine anyway, uh, you and me and Mainer, the Mainers. Mainers? No. What they get? Nothing. They well, they got a forty million dollar bill on their taxes. Everybody in Maine kicked in a little bit of money. 